Hey Libra, happy new year. This is all about you. It's your first reading in 2020 from Born Without Boundaries. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Here we are, brand new 2020. We're working on, wow, full circle. In uh, June of 2020, it'll be a year since the channel began. So thank you so much Libras for all the help you've done to help me build and grow over the past year. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising sign. This is the Oracle card portion of your reading. There will be a full tarot card spread and a romance reading in an extended, and that link is right down below in the description box. So if you choose to um, go over there, the link is right below. Your cards keep flying out. Use your mind wisely and act as if when pigs fly. Honestly, don't believe that you think that this will ever happen. There is something here that is supposed to happen, but you don't think it ever will. That's what the energy is. It's like, and it's, it's straight out and in your face. It's like, use your mind wisely and act as if. It's either you or somebody else that you think is being completely foolish. You think they're been, being bamboozled. You think they're being swindled. Somebody swindled. That's what. That's the energy. It's 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 um. Fake it till you make it. This is like a when pigs fly card. The impossible happens. Act as if. It's almost like this expectation of it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. But it's also this energy of, act as if it already has. <laughs> you know. That's the energy. Um. If you want to man, that's a master manifestation energy. In other words, this feeling of it's never going to happen is going to interfere with it actually happening. So the solution to that is act as if. The crowning energy this week is please for the next seven days, act as if you already have it. Act as if what you want is already here. Act as if it's already yours. Pretend, literally fake it till you make it. This is my make it to fake it till you make it card. So fake it till you make it. Act like the impossible has already happened. It doesn't matter if it already hasn't. What matters is you, especially being an air sign, getting into the mindset that it already has. This is essential for you to manifest. It's almost like there's this tipping point over the next seven days for you guys. And if you doubt even just a little bit, it won't come true. If you, if you teeter with your faith even just a little bit, it won't come true. In other words, this week is going to be very, very rough for you to keep the faith. This week is very going to be very rough for you to find that balancing point and not want to turn around and go backwards, but you can't go backwards. The future is even farther away than, I mean, sorry, the past is even farther away than the future because the, fu the past will never happen again and the future is yours to decide. So this is the energy of decide. And if pretending helps you, I remember once, um, a teacher of mine <clears throat> gave me a book and it was it was a lady something or other's book of, of uh, practical fairies or something like that and it was all this um, it was a whole book or a diary that a woman had kept and the inscription uh, the person who gave it to me was an anonymous it was it was lying on my desk at school uh, one day after I'd been very very upset and it was just sitting there waiting for me nobody ever took credit for giving it to me um, but I know that it was my teacher. I just had that feeling and because I kind of recognize her handwriting. But she never acknowledged it. She just left it on my book. And the point was uh, the inscription that she, the little note that she wrote, not inscription, but note that she wrote to me was it doesn't matter if what you believe is real. What matters is that you believe it. And that's the energy that you need to embody this week. That's the energy crowning you and really guiding you this week. Libra, it doesn't matter if what you believe in is real. The faith itself is real. And the faith itself is actually the magic. It's actually that manifestation power. It's got nothing to do because the truth is the future is what you make it. The future is going to be realized by you. And so having faith and believing that it's real will actually help to manifest it and make it real. <clears throat> so there is that energy Libra of what do you want to be true? What is it? What is it really in your heart of hearts and believe your heart of hearts, believe it, even though it's crazy, believe in, believe it, even though it's impossible, believe it because it's not impossible, believe it that it's real. And actually this week embody that energy of it actually being real. We have two more cards here. Nothing is wasted. Don't give up. 
the time that you've spent, the hope that you've placed, the faith that you've placed. This card is coming out loud and clear, more energy. Use your mind to stay faithful and don't give up. No, it hasn't been wasted. The time hasn't been wasted. You haven't been wasted. Your hopes haven't been wasted. All the work you've done right until up till now hasn't been wasted. It hasn't been wasted. In fact, I think that it's defeat that is the illusion, but gosh, it will become the reality if you succumb to it. So don't waste all that you've done and all that you've invested in as far as you've come. It's almost easiest to make somebody fail right before they succeed because it's that hardest because you're so, it's the hardest to get over that last like foot of the peak. It's the hardest to get over because you're so wary. You're so heavy. You're so, your, your heart is heavy. Your body is heavy. It's, it's, it's almost impossible, especially when you get that sort of lethargy, that slowing down that comes from achy muscles and a heavy heart. And so don't push, go slow. That's fine. It's fine to go slow. As long as you keep going, as, 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 as long as you keep going, just keep going one hand in front of the other hand, in front of the other hand, followed by the leg, followed by the leg. Libra, that's the energy of the next seven days. This feeling of, oh, it's all over for me. I'll never make it. You will make it. You're going to make it. It's almost fated that you'll make it. Pretend like you already have. Pretend like you already have so that you keep going. So that it's just a little extra. So those are steps into your future as opposed to you still thinking that you have to prove yourself for something. Don't waste all that you've invested because you're right there. Keep going. That's faith. Sing your own song. You're constructing something. You're making something new. You're bringing something into life. This is communication. This is a very mercurial energy. This card is uh, usually Gemini or Virgo representation because they're very musical signs. They're very, very attached to music because music is the universal form of communication where it doesn't even have to be words. But this is find your song and find your voice. And Libra, you have already composed something. This is about a creation that you've made. This is about your composition. It's about a song that is about you. It's about who you are and everything that you've ever dreamed of or imagined or everything that you believe in. So believe that it's real. Keep writing it and finish that song. Keep going. Believe it's already real. Believe it's already here. Sing it out loud and strong and share it. You could be approaching by the end of this week that time where you tip from construction to actual unveiling or sharing your work with somebody else. So it's good that the song is in your heart, but now it's time to sing it to the world. It's a time to let people know. And you're going to be just about that point toward the end of this week. And this time that you've spent having to work it, having to work on it, having to um having to go over it it's actually exactly what you needed to refine it enough to bring it to life and this is new life this is that energy of a birth is going to happen or at least a conception could be literal sometimes this is my fertility card or this is a new life or a new baby card but this is new life which will speaks to a new creation something that you have something you have manifested into reality this is a sign that yes it's happened. The magic has happened. Look at trust in the magic and six, six. So this has to do with, um, six plus six is 12. One plus two is three. So three, three is the Holy Trinity. Um, um, perfect cosmic balance in alignment. So I think whatever you've been working on is, is meant to happen is supposed to be happen. It's, it has sort of that subtext of cosmic truth and reality to it. It, it was in other words, a, a child born from you and spirit co-creating, which literal children always are because they're always miracles, but this is creation too. So this was divine inspiration. And I think it was you and your hard work and spirit working all together. So this is the manifestation of it actually becoming real. And what a wonderful card to get because this is my winter bird. Winter birds are the energy of new life when everything else is dead. So seeing hope in a situation that seems glim, a uh, glum, um, um, yeah, seeing light in the, in, in, 
through the through the dimness of winter this is you see the the hope the berries is that are seated right next to him this is life this is vitality it's there it's new it's realized and it's it's actual it's actualized so that's really exciting time for a beginner mind you may have had to start over or maybe you've already started over libra but this is an energy of you have earned your defenses you are your defenses are a part of you this is essentially you being maybe a little bit bristly <laughs> right this is the central card for your reading so this is the energy of you being a little bit bristly a little bit defensive um and that's okay it's almost like be prepared to stick up for what you believe in be prepared to um speak out and let people know that 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 threaten you that that you are not a pushover like this is the energy of not being a push pushover not rolling over of even if you're small you're mighty right this is that energy of four and eight is another 12 which is another three another three energy wow this is just more divine intervention. This is who you've been becoming. This is, you may have to defend something this week that matters to you, but defend it, defend it in the light and in the energy that it already exists because it is already real. Hmm. This is also a card of loving yourself though too. Like you may be a little bit prickly, you may be a little bit spiny, but you think that you're fabulous. So know that your imperfections are actually what makes this an interesting story. What makes you an interesting person. You see how he just festoons himself in all these feathers and bows. Ready? Time for a beginner mind. Porcupine spirit. Were you writing something? Because those are quills. Those are like, that's the energy of having quills all over you. So having a lot to say. Give with gratitude and grace. I think that your bounty is here. That's the energy. Usually this is abundance, having abundance and sharing it and having so much that you have more than enough to share. But this is like feast time. This is celebration time. There's this energy here, Libra, that you're going to have a lot to celebrate. Lay a solid foundation. I'm, I'm taking my time with this because this is your second card. Ooh. This is this is a Virgo energy, laying a solid foundation. Okay. This is the energy of it's almost seconding this energy. This energy of not necessarily fake it till you make it, but Lay that foundation with the confidence that you will always have abundance and you will always have enough. Don't be afraid. When this new opportunity comes to you, and it will come to you this week, Libra, um, and it will come to you because you will believe it will come to you. You will keep going. In other words, continue to move forward. Even if you feel like, like your resources are slimming, use them wisely. Use those resources as if you're going to have more. In other words, but but keep going and and and... and You're going to have enough. You're going to have everything you need to begin or to build what it is you dream. But you have to keep going. It's almost like those loaves and fishes. You know, like that story of, it's it's like it, as you use it, it will show up. Keep going. Um, you, while you're building, you'll have enough. The, the universe will find ways to feed you. And this is like being fed with faith. But... Also, that faith, somehow food always turns up or somehow the money comes in. This is an energy of harvest, harvest time, because Virgo is at harvest season. This is harvest time. And using everything, maybe using, mm, this could be the energy of having to go into your savings a little bit or 
being able to draw on those things that you've already harvested from in order to um, lay a solid foundation this week. This is almost the energy of, yeah, taking your savings and putting it down as a down payment on a new business or a new home. Maybe you're buying a new home and it may seem like, holy crap, I'm scared because I'm using my savings, but it's a savings that's used in, the, in a practical to a practical purpose that's going to grow and build and continue. You're using it wisely. You're spending it wisely. And this is another six card. See, six is the number of love. It's coming through as a number of love because six is the lovers in the main tarot deck, in the original tarot deck. You're starting a new love affair. And you're worried. There's still something about this love affair that you want to hide. You're not completely and totally ready to talk about it yet. Ooh. Take the lead. This is, when this card comes in reverse, this is take root. This is planting your roots so that you can grow and bloom. This is taking root so that you can spring form for the earth. This is, this is the card of planting, the season of planting, the art of planting, planting for the future. You're investing in something and you're either investing in a relationship or you're investing in, maybe you're investing in your, your first home with your, with your new family or your new husband or your new, new wife. This is taking that first step and it may be a big step. It may be a huge investment, but there is an energy investment of resources, which is time and blood, sweat and tears. But you are planting the seed for the future and this seed has so much ripe abundance for this. Plant it deep and plant it solid. As if it's already here. And then your rooting energy, your base energy is spirit has a plan. I think that you've seen this in the future. You already have the vision of it. And you're being guided toward this by spirit. It's almost like you see the future. You see it because Koala sits in the tree and he's secure. This is a real earth energy. It's grounded even though it has that higher, that higher sense of, of understanding. It's not just seeing things from a higher perspective. It's believing in them from a higher perspective and knowing that even though there might be a little bit of risk to this or you feel that there's a risk to this, this is actually a beautiful thing. And what you're supposed to do, you're investing in the right areas this week. Libra, take the leap, make the investment, lay that groundwork, put that foundation down. It is worth the investment is what this card is saying. Hold on. Okay. Here's your spread, Libra. Here it is. And I know that you're going to have a conflict of faith and spirit. There's going to be this... Um, pause this I don't know if I want to do it it's too much it's too much it's too much being a little bit defensive and worried maybe fearful guarded this week there's your central energy but this is your um this is your grounding energy that this is a part of a larger plan and and you feel it you know it or trust in the attachment in other words have faith because you're going to be protected and the resources will come into you as you lay the, found, the, the, the foundation. So go one step at a time. In other words, lay that foundation one brick at a time. Purchase um, one brick at a time, but he continue to do it. Remember how I said that, that image of, 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 of climbing one arm at a time? And, and don't think that everything is wasted just because you come to a point where maybe resources are running slim. Just keep going one brick at a time. As you work for it, you can lay the next brick and lay the next brick. I know it seems like you'll never get there, but you actually are already there. You see, it's, it's that it, the impossible has already happened because you believe it into being. Act as if pigs could already fly. And in other words, the, the impossible is already there. You already see the whole building in front of you, even though you're just laying one brick after another. The challenge this week will to be to continue to keep that faith. Now, I'm going to go over to Tarot to see what the outcome of this is, as well as confirm what exactly this is, a relationship, a project, a relationship building in a project. There's a lot of ambiguity, so I'm going to continue this reading. Uh, the link is below. And then also do your love reading, Leva. I'll see you over there.